Hey everybody, this is Joe, Joe's Premium Firewood, coming to you live on Friday, August 19th, 2022, and I'm out here by my brother's storage area, and this is the mostly ash, there is some oak in here, some white oak, there's some white oak grounds in here that I uh, bought from Phil the other day, and I brought it back here. Normally I would uh, put it up over over there by uh, bay number one, but you can see the sun there. I, I want to be in a nice shady spot, even though it's not that hot out. It's probably in the uh, low 70s right now, low humidity. And uh, I'm going to split these. You see I got the truck right next to it. You can see I've been cleaning out the bed every time we do it. I did two deliveries yesterday. And uh, there was a lot of debris in there. A lot of the bark was falling off. And uh, I had Craig help me, Mr. R, and we cleaned it out after each delivery. We did two deliveries yesterday. Somebody just said hi. There's outside of Michigan. Haven't seen Dean in around in a while. But I see your uh, last video on YouTube isn't doing as good as the other one did. But it's just you just never know. It's all about the title and thumbnail, but uh, before I uh, get going on the splitting, I got to do a major repair. Get that thumbs up. I got to do a major repair. I got to add water to this. Now my mechanic told me, he said if you pull into a parking lot and it's really gushing out of there, he sh he said to uh, said to open that up or just release release the pressure and it won't push the water out. And I think it really leaks when I go on the highway or drive for a while. I just went into the store and back, and I don't see it dripping out of there at all. But uh, I'm, I'm done putting antifreeze in there, spending 15 bucks, and have it all leak out in two days. I talked to my mechanic yesterday. He's uh, working on my mom's car, or my, the Ford, the Ford 500. And as soon as, soon as that's fixed, I'm going to take this in, hopefully by Monday, and drop this off. And then I told him I need it back by Friday. I'm almost all caught up on deliveries. I get this one I'm about to do. The guy ordered two, but I usually take it to him on Friday when he gets paid so he can pay me. It's a guy I used to work with, so. But I'm not delivering it till 4 o'clock, but I thought I'd get it loaded now so I don't have to worry about it later. So, yeah, we'll be using the Easton Made today, but I'm going to I'm gonna put you uh, here. Oh, it looks like I forgot to put this duct tape on the uh, microphone. Let me put that on there so it... It stays tight on there. I don't want it. I, I hope the sound's coming through okay. So there. Now I got that on there. But let me put you on here. And uh, we're going to do this major, major repair. And oh, I forgot to grab the funnel. So let me grab the funnel so this doesn't spill out all over the place. I think this costs like 250 or something like that for just distilled water. So, but I guess it's it's better it's better for the truck than uh, regular tap water, and our our tap water is really hard. Let's see if this has pressure on it. No, but it's not too hot. Oh, now I feel now I just heard the pressure release. So that's what he said to do if I pull out and it's really leaking out. And uh, he, he's going to be the one to determine if it's the water pump or hose or the radiator itself. My mechanic, when I take it to him, hope, maybe I might be able to get it to him as soon as Sunday. And then he's going to fix the blower for the uh, the heat and AC. And then he's going to fix the leak. And then later, I'm, I, I'm, I'm talking about getting airbags or, or, or extra leaf springs and have him put that on and uh, do the brakes. Do that in the fall when I have more money. Although, it's been a pretty good week. I've had a delivery every day. Well, Thursday I had two, and I had one on Monday, and one on Tuesday, and one here on Friday. And I just had a new customer come pick up a truckload or a face cord of wood. So I just poured the rest of that in there. It was about this much. And it still could take more. I got another gallon of this in the truck 
I'm doing my delivery and I, I notice it's running starts running hot I can uh, I can pull over and pour that other gallon in let me put this here so major repair done on the truck stuff I can handle stuff you know stuff I know what to do I know how to do <sighs> Did I? Oh, don't let me shut this without putting my cap back on So there's some water in there. It wasn't really hot, running hot when I ran to the store. Um, I think I forgot to grab my gloves. I don't want to use the gloves in the truck because uh, those are delivery gloves. They're in pretty nice shape. So let me uh, run, in, run into the barn here real quick and get some uh, old raggedy gloves that are duct tape 100 times. And then we'll get started on the splitting. Hopefully I can knock it out in a, under an hour. Thanks for all them thumbs up. Appreciate it. Appreciate it, folks. I'll give you a couple angles to watch me today. These are kind of beat up. I don't know. If I could put duct tape on them again, I'm down to my like last new pair. I got one new, I got a decent pair in the truck, and I got a brand new pair in here. I've had these for uh, I don't know three years. You can see that's why I make them last longer, but they're starting to get get holes again. That's how you save money, folks. A roll of duct tape will let, make your gloves last for months. Hopefully, there's enough gas in. Well, you, uh, somebody's just sending them uh, likes. I like the likes, folks. You like the truck? I'm trying to get Bill in here next week to wrap it, put the uh, JPF logo on it, uh, amongst other things. So I got a piece on here ready to go. Get you in a good spot. There you go. Like I said, I'm nice and close, so I shouldn't be throwing the pieces into uh, the truck bed too hard and like I say there's a handful normally he gets he's been getting uh, locusts from Darren but Darren just too busy he's got personal things going on you know his mom's health is not the best so but now I got this this truck and I can uh, don't have to you know count on other people to come through for me I'm the rock and roll, folks. You know, a lot of this stuff, I could probably use the four-way wedge. But then I got to just stop and throw the pieces. I don't, I almost need another person to throw them for me. So, this single wedge works good. You can see how easy this stuff splits. Nice and solid ash. Nice and dry. It's ready to go now. So no need, you know, no need to split it into bay, bay one and let it sit. He's not going to be having fires for another two and a half, three months. This will be a Joe Cord oversized truck load. And tomorrow I got to deliver cherry. Uh, a pizza oven to a country club that has a pizza oven. I'm trying to take it easy, not bang up the sides. But I like, I, I prefer going in from the side. I'm not throwing it at the window. I don't have a headache rack yet. I need money for that kind of stuff. I need money for the airbag but you know yeah I, I had a good sales week 
haven't bought any firewood yet, so. But I did buy my brother's saw. 661. Wants to see that run. Took me extra time to stack these rounds when I uh, brought them back on uh, Wednesday. But then it goes faster when you're splitting. Same when you're, you know, when you're loading firewood, you're loading from a stack as opposed to a pile. It goes faster. on uh, angle a little more than I thought it was. I'd like to be on flat ground, but everything's funneling off. I just, I hope pieces don't start going into that wheelbarrow. This is the wood for mom. drop the truck off to my, my mechanic once the Ford is ready. Hopefully he can have it in a couple of days. I told him I needed it back by Friday. And I don't want to say I hope I don't get any orders next week. But they'll just have to wait until the truck's fixed. If you don't maintain it, then worse things are going to happen. And they'll be down for weeks. And I know that the restaurant I delivered to they gotta prime their ovens and I'm sure they're gonna be needing another load soon. They'll probably go through four or five truckloads before they even open the store up. Nice and gentle. No bed liner. The guy that picked up today, he had a 2012 GMC. It was in real nice shape. Bed had the spray and liner, and it was like looked brand new. Much rather do this than pick them up off the ground one piece at a time, throw them into the bed. Have a piece of oak here that's good and dry. You can see no part, it's lightweight. And he he 100 percent he's one of my few customers that uh 100 percent heats with wood. I used to, I used to work with him when I had a real job. I had somebody comment the other day, oh you don't have a business? You don't have a business? Only, yeah, I only have about $1,500 of sales a week for, for the average for the year, $1,200, something like that. Yeah, it's not a business, it's just a hobby.
know my YouTube people, they want me to do more of my Sunday live streams like this, but it just doesn't work well this time of year on YouTube. These are bundle gray, but I think I'm gonna use up all my old bundle wood. Some of it's been there for over a year. I'm gonna use it all up. So I probably got enough to make another 120 or so bundles. That one went out of the ground. Sure, I was overdue for one of those. You can't really squeeze in there. I'm so close to it. Hopefully, I don't lose too many more. my hook a ruin to grab it. Because he does heat, I'm going to split some bigger pieces for him. Some all-nighters. I'll be getting uh, 210 for this load. He's, he's over 30 miles away, but he'll help me throw it out into his driveway. He'll stack it later. Big one. There's a big one coming up. I think I better take a union break. Better move my water too, or my uh, drink. We got the exhaust coming out here. It blows on it and makes it warm. I guess for now we'll go there. watch it all the way through. I like it when people share my videos too. You don't have to share these long live streams, but the pop, my popular videos I would appreciate it. I just posted one this morning. And if it didn't show up on your news feed, you need to go to my page. It's a video of Mike cutting down the tree with his brother-in-law Kurt. Just hit share. Share it out. Helps me out. Good entertaining video too. Get a lot of wood out of these big ones, right Shive? You're watching Shive? <laughs> <laughs> 
to make a dent. I'm not talking about dent in the side. But I'm starting to get some wood in there for this order. Ash is a good all around firewood. You can heat with it. Good campfire wood, lots of flames. Easy to burn, dries fast. One of my favorites. Too bad they're all dead. Hopefully, I can keep uh, finding a source for them until uh, more people start ordering early. Finish out this row and then I'm gonna give you a different angle. Although I think this is a pretty good angle. That's a good kindling. Not getting too many pieces for mom because this wood's so nice. This was a little bit longer, but. His uh, stove, I think, could take 20 inch pieces. There's a piece for mom. Get him a nice Joe cord here. Don't really have to worry about the weight with these. All dry. It's almost all ash. And the oak that's here is really dry. Give him this one as an all nighter. Thank you. 
told told Phil when I picked these up. I was thinking about taking the splitter over there, putting it next to his pile, splitting right into the truck. Then we don't have to load the truck, and then I don't have to come back here and unload it. tailgate too hard. I'm glad it's functioning. Unlike my red truck, that was in rough shape. Stay hydrated, folks. Comes uh, another big one. <clears throat> nice and solid, 16 inch. Perfect piece of, perfect round. Nice looking firewood, folks. This first row is almost done. more rounds in the second row. The limbwood I got from Phil went out with my uh, first delivery yesterday. So this should better be enough to get this order out. But if it's not, I'll probably uh, pop it off with some cherry.
All the oak was in the second row. Last one on this side. And it's a crotch. My <laughs> last time I tried to split this, I got the blade, the wedge got stuck. So I tried splitting it through the, starting with the knot. So I'm gonna start on the other side. Once it gets started, it'll split all the way through. I think this is my fourth live stream this week. Let me know if you want me to keep them coming. As long as people are watching, enjoying the show, keep making them. Nighter. Okay, here's the first row. Hopefully we got about 30 watching. You can talk to me now, I'll be able to see it, hopefully. 73! That's good. Let's see, I got one fell on the ground there. Let's see what we got here. Let me walk you around. I'm gonna give you a different angle. 70 78 watching. I'm gonna try a different angle, folks. And I gotta do a repair on this tripod. See them thumbs up coming through. I like it, I like it, I like it. Now we're gonna raise you up. See that bird's eye view. Bird's eye view. Somebody asked me a question, I don't know, I'll try to said, when is something going to happen? It's probably Kylie, I don't know. Yeah, when is the truck going to... I don't know. I don't know when the truck's going to be ready. King got his truck back last night. So, he can help me out. Again. He wants to. Alright, let me get over there. Start on that second row. You miss the, if you miss the beginning, you're just joining us. I did a major repair at the beginning, so you might want to start the video over once it's done. Watch the beginning of it. But all right, got to go left, left leg first. I can't, still can't bend my knee. I guess I'll just set it on the ground. Keep it up. Keep it away from that exhaust. I think you guys can see. I hope so. But it looks like the camera's aiming pretty good. might have to, I think I'll just pile it up in the middle. I don't want them falling out. I'm going to throw them over there now. Once it's like level, then I'll pile it in the middle and then distribute them. He can 
can get some all nighters. Get a piece of oak. White oak. Nice and dry. Don't get no drier than that, folks. And it's still solid. It's probably been down for 10 years. Delivery I got to do tomorrow has to be has to be put under a six foot deck. So the boards come down about 18 inches. So it's like about you know four and a half feet. Craig's barely five foot tall. He's about five three, five four. I'm gonna have him stag it for me. I'll feed him. I'll feed him the cherry. But like I say, this this load just gets dumped. Starting to get close, folks. Another 60 or 70 more pieces. And we'll have a joke board. One day it's going to be an official firewood measurement, folks. Joke board. 10 by 4. Might have to get it patented. Some people say I can't do it that way. I'll do it my way, you do it your way. Damn wasp! Hate him! Blew into my glove! Almost got me! The last thing I need with all my health issues is get stung by a wasp. I think I hate wasps more than any creature on the planet. Alright, this piece right here, I'm a little bit uh, concerned about. It's got a lot of uh, fungus on here. You know, he might have got me too. Just a, not, I got a little red spot and it's a little sore. So it's starting to, yeah, he got me. 
You got me, folks. Now my hand's gonna swell up. Well, I guess this isn't too bad. I'll show it to you once it gets all swollen. I hope I got some fenugrill. Yep. I don't think it was a full sting, but it is, it is it's sore right now. This isn't too bad. It's pretty solid in the middle. I mean, it's questionable, but I think I can ship it. It's semi-premium. Kind of getting a big void over there. I'm gonna adjust a couple pieces. There's that damn wasp again. The left, left foot first. You see where you got me, folks? You see that? Right there. I don't know if it's in focus. I don't know if you can see that, but I got that wasp got wasp got me. Damn wasp. go. Hit that thumbs up, folks. Alright, I got three big ones to do. This one looks like the stump of the tree. It's going to be heavy. Not too bad. ones gonna put a dent in the truck. 
Looks like the truck's spotting pretty good too. Talked to Shad last night, or the night before. He said I should go with the airbags instead of extra leaf springs. So I like the leaf springs, but I'm thinking the leaf springs, when the weight goes, goes up, it pushes it out. And I think it pulls the frame apart. Over 30 miles with this. I used to work with, he exterminates wasps. If I find their nest, he's getting a call. He's on the push plate. I wish he would have flew right in between the, the piece of wood. Hope you find this funny. I don't. Can't wait for that first freeze, September or October. Send all the insects back to hell where they belong.
Almost there. I told you them three pieces would make a dent. Get him another piece of oak. This white oak will burn hot and long. it up on top, go over the other side, and distribute it. Can't throw them over there, they'll fall off. Y'all watching now? 68. Not bad. Not bad, folks. Not bad. Put first. Get it in so it don't so it don't fall out. Left foot first.
That ought to do it, folks. We're done. Let's get it straightened out. So, you see how much I got in there? Now let's redistribute it so it won't fall. Hey folks, Joe Cord. Call that a Joe Cord. Or maybe I got a little bit of a hole here. I might go grab him a couple bigger logs to put on there. Fill in those gaps. Set this here and grab another one. Two more. Two more. Do it. Left foot first. I gotta get that one piece. Sorry about that. Can't think about the camera all the time. One piece that fell on the ground over here. Okay. Ow! Ow, my knee! Ow! Tripped and bent it. Glad I had the knee brace on. Let me grab this straight piece of bell. There's a hole for it on the other side. About maybe a dozen 10 inch round, 8 inch, 10 inch rounds left. Uh, didn't do left foot first, you gotta keep forgetting. Where the bee got me, I mean the wasp, it's swollen up, you can see that. Alright, let's take a look at it, let's take a look at it, Joe Cord, Joe Cord, there it is folks, almost all ash, there is, there is some uh, oak in here. Should make a nice pile. Be a nice pile. And then he can stack it. I gotta be there at four o'clock Eastern time today. So I'm gonna go out to lunch, meet a uh, old friend I, we used to work with for lunch, and then I'm gonna go dump this at four o'clock. So Alright. 
I think I'm going to wrap it up. I don't think I'll go live tomorrow because Craig's helping me, but I've got to deliver some cherry tomorrow. And hopefully by uh, Sunday or Monday, I can uh, drop this off, get the leak fixed, get the uh, blower fixed, and uh, be back to deliveries. And then in the fall when I have a ton of sales, then I'm going to have uh, airbags put on and uh, the brakes done. So... All right, take a look at the truck, your favorite truck. Hit that heart, hit that heart. But uh, there it is. All right, everybody have a great weekend. If you're watching this live, if you're watching the replay, I appreciate it making it all the way to the end. And uh, we'll catch you guys on the next one.